Hey there Dev Squad of Ertis here and in today's video we are going to be showing you how you can get Autodesk 3ds Max as an educator or a student. So for anyone that is in college, university, school or alike, Autodesk have made some of their software free for free years for you to download and use for educational use. Having said that, you are going to be able to make some awesome 3D models following along with our courses and other people's. Through this video, we're going to be showing you the complete step of getting yourself set up and downloading 3ds Max. You are not going to need any pirated software, dodgy cracks or even serial keys. This is all legit, 100% genuine, and we're going to be showing you how to get this done. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and download 3ds Max. To do this, we need to go onto the Autodesk website and get set up. Now the section of their website that you are after is autodesk.com education. If you want to find that, go ahead and search for Autodesk Education in Google, and you're more than likely going to find it as the very top link. I am also going to be providing the link for this in the link in the description down below. Go ahead and select 3ds Max. What we're going to be doing is creating a, an account so we can get started choosing our version, operating system, etc. So go ahead and create an account, choose your region, which in my case is the United Kingdom, and then educational role. From here, you can choose your role. Are you a student? Are you an educator, an IT administrator, or even a design competition mentor? For most of you, that is going to be a student. Once we've done that, we are then going to put our date of birth in there. Once that's done, we're now going to move on to the next step, which is to put in our name, our email and our password. So let's go ahead and fill this out. With that done, we're now going to accept the terms and conditions and the privacy policy. You're more than welcome to take a look through this and read it. Create our account, give it a couple of seconds. And what it's going to do at this stage is it is going to ask you to verify your email. And once you've done that, we're going to be moving on to the bit where we're just going to be verifying some details as to the educational institution. So jump into your inbox and get signed up. So time to verify our email. Once we've done that, we're going to be taken to this little step. This is just going to ask for the name of the educational institution. So what I'm going to do is fill out all of these details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Virtus Learning Hub in here, area of study, enrolled from, graduated in, etc, etc. Now you need to make sure you put in your details for your school, college, university, etc, and go from there. With that all done, what you're now going to see is your account is now updated to access the Autodesk Education Community. Go ahead and hit continue. And what this is going to do is it's going to take you to this web page where you're finally going to be able to download Autodesk 3ds Max. Getting set up was as simple as that. So go ahead and choose your version. For me, that is going to be the latest version, 3ds Max 2020. Operating system, the only one supported at the moment is 64-bit Windows. You will not be able to use this on Mac or Linux by default. And then lastly, our language, which in my case is going to be English. Now with this, what you're going to see is you have a product key, a serial number, and also the size, and you have a button to press install now. With these, make sure you do keep a good note of these as you will need them later on. You are also going to receive an email containing the license information, so don't worry if you lose it too much as you've got it in there, but it is good reference to just keep this, just write it down somewhere and press install now. Accept the license and services agreement, press install and it's going to give you a file to download. Go ahead and open this up and it's going to start downloading Autodesk 3ds Max. Now that we've got the installer open, what we're going to do is let this process run out as it does need to download all of the files ready for Autodesk 3ds Max. Now this can take a little while depending on the speed of your connection. So what I'm going to do is simply edit this to speed it up in the editing. With the prerequisites downloaded, what we're going to do is install this on this computer. It is going to go through a couple of different sections. Just keep pressing next. Choose your location as we have done here. You can change this just by pressing browse. Make sure Autodesk 3ds Max here is selected. And then once you've done that, go ahead and press install. And this is the page that is going to take a little while. In most cases, this is going to take about an hour just because of how big all the files are. But what I'm going to do is leave this running and I'll see you in a second. 
With that now successfully installed, you are ready to start using 3ds Max. So having said that, what we're going to do is press launch now and give it a couple of seconds to load up. Again, you're going to have to accept the privacy statement. On here, we are going to go ahead and press OK, and then we're going to choose our initial 3ds Max experience. You have got your classic view, which is recommended for modeling or animating objects and viewing them with standard lights and materials or you've got your design view, which is recommended for working with and rendering large environments with photorealistic lighting and materials. So if you're gonna be doing stuff like ArcViz, you are gonna be using the design view, or if you're gonna be doing just normal game modeling, then you're gonna be using the classic view. Choose whichever one you're up for, and then just go ahead and press continue and move on to opening up 3ds Max. And that is it, we are now inside of 3ds Max and it didn't cost us a thing. We can now use this for the next three years for educational use. And one thing you might want to take into consideration is that you are going to want to learn how to use Autodesk 3ds Max. We have on our channel a whole variety of 3ds Max modeling courses. Go ahead and check them out now using the link in the description taking you to our website. But for now guys, that is everything. Enjoy Autodesk 3ds Max and I'll see you soon. As always guys, stay awesome, keep creating, Virtus signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.